Hi, and welcome to a brief introduction to IQF. My name is Rasmus Larsson, and I'll be talking to you about fluidization in a freezer. IQF is a known technology to freeze small pieces of foodstuff such as vegetables, berries, fruit, seafood, meat, or even pasta. This is the most commonly used method to achieving a good freezing result and a good product result even after defrosting. To achieve a quick and effective freezing result, we need to use fluidization. And fluidization is making a product act as a fluid inside the freezer. Here is a block of product and here is a well separated frozen product. So what makes the difference? Fluidization is the answer. So in general we want to achieve a perfectly separated frozen product that looks like a fresh one when defrosted. In order to do so we need to avoid three things. One is too little movement of the fluidization which can have the product freezing together and create clumps. We also don't want to achieve to have too much fluidization because it can um, break some product and we can even blow product into other parts of the freezer into the coil or in general don't have too little motion in the bed because it doesn't transfer the heat to the product from the product to the coil. We, we see four main elements affecting the uh, fluidization. Number one is the air pressure underneath the bed plate which creates uh, a pressure drop in the bed and uh, an air speed hitting the product. Number two is the, uh, the movement of the bed that helps to ag agitate the product and separate the product. Number three is the actual the configuration of, of the holes, the patterns, the size, etc. And number four is the product characteristics which very much affect the fluidization. It's the size, the water content, the shape of the product and also the infill temperature that comes into the freezer. So this was a brief introduction to fluidization in a freezer. Next time I'll be getting more into detail of how we at Octofrost balance those four elements to achieve a perfectly frozen product. Thank you for listening and uh, see you next time.